Hey, people. Oh, wait. I don't got to hold the button no more. I ain't been on TikTok in so long. I, I didn't even know I had to hold it. But anyway, let me go on and say what I got to say before the devil come in and try to be interrupting me like he did. So this is like my third time recording this. I have a word. And the Lord wants me to tell y'all something, right? Because um, he told me something today. And I must say I was perplexed. I was a little thrown off. I was, oh, I was shooketh. So on my way to church today, um, God asked me a question. And I was not prepared for this question. So I was a little like, what the heck is going on? God said, do you trust me? That's the message today. Do you trust me? Not me. I'm talking about the gray I am. So, when he asked, I said, yes. Yes, I trust you. Yes, I trust you. And, and the Lord said, no, you don't. No, you don't. Why do you worry so much if you trust me? Why are you so stressed out if you trust me? Why are you not sleeping at night if you trust me? Why are you so overwhelmed if you trust me? These are all the feelings I was feeling this week. So early Wednesday morning, about 4 a.m., uh, I woke my husband up. It had been almost 24 hours since I had slept because a lot of things was on my mind. And um, I'm sobbing to him at this point. And I'm just like... Um, the Lord is not saying anything to me. Like, he's not speaking. And my husband's like, did you pray? I said, yes. I've been praying and praying and praying. I'm like, I don't know what else what else I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'm not praying the right things. Maybe I'm not saying the right things. Maybe I'm not asking for the right things. And um, that that was the thing. So, in the midst of this chaos, right, I was not trusting God. I gave it to him, but I was still worried about it. I gave it to him, but I'm still up in the middle of the night thinking about these things over and over and over again. Because I'm just like, God, like, come on, like, it's, things need to happen, right? And for a second, I did see God's blessing, right? For just a second. And I'm like, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, God. Thank you so much for listening to me. I love you. In the next couple of days, it was just like, hello. Chaos is in the house. I'm back. I'm back. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? I just prayed against all this stuff. What is happening right now? So, I had thought about a story in the bible okay and um it's the story about peter when he was on the boat with the other disciples and they were all afraid they saw somebody walking on the water they thought it was a ghost it was jesus and peter said lord if it's really you let me walk out on the water too she's like all right come on so peter walks on the water and lo and behold he saw jesus supposed to be keeping his eye on Jesus but instead he started to look at the storm and was getting worried and scared so he began to sink right and he called out Jesus help me help me help me help me Jesus did help him but then he said where's your faith like do you not you don't believe in me you don't trust me and I realized um, in that moment, thinking back to that story, like, I was behaving like Peter. Once you take your eyes off of the Lord and start to focus on the mess that's going on, and a lot of times it's stuff you can't control, you begin to sink in all of these emotions, the stress, the anxiety, the anger, the depression, and so on and so forth. God is asking for you to trust him. Bring it to him and lay it at his feet. Because he's going to take care of it. It might not look like how he wanted it to look. It might not 
be on our time. Because he don't work on our time. If you didn't know that. Uh, we on his time. And um, God's timing is always right. So I just encourage anyone who is listening. Once you give it to him, let it go. Let it go. It is not doing you any good to be losing sleep over this situation. It isn't benefiting you to keep worrying about something or somebody. Once you prayed about it and once you have given it to God, you trust him fully and you leave it alone. And and then only will you start to see things really actually happening. And don't be like me. Because I was like, God, I don't hear you talking to me. <laughs> Where are you? Well, he didn't answer me because in that moment, he didn't want me to do anything. And I didn't look at it like that. Like, maybe God is silent because there is nothing I have to do. But I know that now. And that's the word. And I hope it helps somebody. Um, I hope y'all have an amazing day. I love you, but God loves you more. All right? Now go out and be a blessing to somebody. Bye-bye.